hey beautiful people of the most high god so god wants me to talk about the great river euphrates so um if you haven't been aware there has been a lot of news that the river euphrates is drying up like since 2023 well a little bit from 2022 it's been really really dry and um there has been a lot of discoveries a lot of strange noise coming from the caves of the river Euphrates, if you're not aware. And um, people are so worried about the two witnesses coming on the scene. They need to worry. They, they need to be more prepared for the the angels that come out of the Euphrates River, because they're going to be destroying people. They're going to be killing anyone who doesn't have the seal of God on their forehead, right? So. The people shouldn't be worried about the two witnesses who are going to be saving people. They should be worried about the angels that God's going to release from the Euphrates rivers. And it's almost dried completely out. So, um, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't been watching the news, there is a lot going on in the Euphrates River. Right? So, just give you a little brief rundown. You could look. The Euphrates River is drying out. This river is getting drier. The water is getting hotter day after day. The Euphrates River is stopped flowing in Iraq. There is only a little water left in the river. The water quality is bad. It is obviously undrinkable. Many people get sick by drinking the water. Even fish cannot survive on that water. Many fish have Dead on the banks of the rivers, many lakes also drying up in Iraq. Salt Lake, the largest and the most beautiful lakes in Iraq, now has become a barren desert. No one would believe there was a large lake if they visit Salt Lake now. The water has completely drying up and many fish have, have dead. Crop all fails. People cannot plant anything without water. A lot of farmers have abandoned their farm and looking for other job. Iraq is so dry and the water, the weather is extremely hot. People who have cows and buffaloes are struggling to find water for their animals. Many dams are stopped. Yeah, so. Revelations chapter 9, verse 14. Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great rivers Euphrates. Right? And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand, and I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses in the visions, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of a jason, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. By these three, by these three was the third part of men killed, by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. So, the the people should be more concerned that they're in good repentance with God because, you see, the angels that come out of the Euphrates River, they're not going to spare the people on the land if they don't have the seal of God on them. Their, their mission from God, their assignment from God is to slay one third of men. You understand? And those are people who don't have the seal of God on them. So they're going to know who they're going to slay, right? And you can't, those angels, you can't plead with them and tell them not to slay you. That is their mission and assignment from God. Whoever they see without the seal of God, they slay them. They're going to be slain for one year. What does it say? For how long are they going to be slaying people? They're going to be slain. They are going to be slain. Amen. 
how long are we gonna they're gonna be for one hour a day a month and a year so one year one month a day and an hour they'll be slaying people who don't have the seal of god on them one third of men so this is this is what people need to be concerned about and then the the rivers euphrates is drying up and all kinds of scientists and people are there these for the past couple of weeks there's a lot going on and as you can see it's completely drying up and um you can you know go on youtube look up some videos of some past um news clips this was about 10 years ago so there's a lot of people that are scared because there's a lot of noises coming Why is this happening? from the Euphrates One River. One of the most significant rivers in the world, the Euphrates, flows from Turkey through Syria and Iraq. For more than 10,000 years, this extensive river has been the primary source of water for the area. However, due to terrifying circumstances, this ancient river is currently drying up, plunging millions of people into an unheard of drought. Even bizarre and old discoveries have been made beneath this parched riverbed. The Euphrates River's water level is so low that 5 million people would not have access to safe drinking water. What does this entail for the future of humanity? Is the Euphrates so, River... So, if you understand the prophecies of God, then you know when the Euphrates River dries up, there's also war. Well, and the angels... Who are going to be slaying people so the whole time these people are more worried about the two witnesses coming on the scene when they should be worried about who those angels who will be slaying whosoever doesn't have the seal of God so that's why repentance is required because they're not coming to ask anybody any questions they got their assignment their assignment is to kill anybody who doesn't have the seal of God the, what is the two witnesses assignment to save the people right to deliver the people so people have their different assignments in the last days for God and those angels in the Euphrates River that is their assignment to slay one third of men so um, this is what God wanted me to bring to your attention um, you can take this over with fast take this up with fasting and prayer and you can also seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. You can look this up and um, study more about the Euphrates River. And um, just be aware. Just be aware of the times that we're in because things are moving so quickly and so swiftly. And um, we understand with God, he tells us that destruction will come at unaware so it's not something you're going to see coming in the sky it's not something that's going to be um forecasted on the weather station this is just it's like boom sudden destruction is sudden destruction if you get what i mean so beautiful people of god um be mindful be mindful of the euphrates river always be mindful of what's going on in in the earth in the heavens and earth like even around the world globally not just in your city not just in your country because prophecies are not just for one place as you can see you read the word of god prophecies and um judgments are for different places and many different places and on a whole heavens and earth level um and kingdoms and thrones you know how god does this thing if you're reading and you understand so beautiful people of god please take this up with fasting and praying to understand the prophecies that's happening and um how they're unfolding and what does that mean for you and what you need to prepare yourself for what is it um you know your mind body soul spirit for the things that are coming um being strong mentally physically emotionally psychologically and spiritually for what's going on so i love you beautiful people stay blessed Stay strong and stay mighty in the Lord.